whole lot more people at that small end of the, the by that lower equipment. That triangle is a lot bigger down there. So you got right, you know, you can pop on three Kubotas a lot quicker than you can one T7. Um, but you really to survive here. And the other thing about this store, and we'll stay in Alban store a little bit too, is we're right, we're two miles from the Canadian border. So our territory is in a, is a half circle. It's not a circle. Hmm. Half of our driving distance territory is in another country. So you can't really be that fussy. Right. I, 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 you know, I spend equal time, sometimes it's a struggle, but equal time with the guy with the, the rotary cutter, because that $2,000 rotary cutter, if he works downtown so it's a lot of money to him just like a two hundred thousand dollar tractor is a lot of money to the, the guy that's buying that so I try and treat everybody that way it's a lot of money for this guy you know to him it's a huge thing to write a check for a two thousand dollar rotary cutter um, and I think you need I, I I think you need all the smalls and when you hit a big one it's that's kind of the extra that's kind of how I look at it do you it's, I mean everybody loves to have a big package and a big tractor and it's fun and but you, the living is made on the smalls and the... I don't probably do as many farm calls as as even the company would like, but I didn't like being bothered when I was busy. If I wanted to buy something, I would go buy it or I'd make... And I try and give people a lot of attention when they're in the buying process. And then I don't stop every two months. I don't have a, a trap line that I go stop every so many weeks at this farm and that. I just don't do it. I didn't like it when I was farming. I was busy. If I want something, I would have called. I know the phone number and I think more and more the world exists that way. Mm -hmm. There's still some of the old time people that like the attention and you try and give them more, but most people are busy and they got a computer. They know about what that tractor is going to cost. They know about what that mower is going to cost. They know kind of what brand they want. I mean, this a lot of this isn't it's just not rocket science. It's it's more. I think it's more important to be there when they are ready to buy something, right? And give them the attention, the information they want, and and then leave them alone, let them work again. That's kind of how I do it. I haven't. And everybody in the world would argue with me that I do it wrong, but.